Hey everybody, we're back! Oh hi, North America and I the rest of the world. Yes, I cannot believe that just one week ago we were wrapping up Celebrity Big Brother and now we're back for more Big Brother. But this is exciting. This is Big Brother Canada Season 10. Wow. So, so exciting. This show has come back from the dead after, yeah, like, uh, that's true. almost getting canceled. Mm -hmm. And now it is back and better than ever. Oh, last season was so good. I can't yeah. wait to see what they have up their sleeves this season. All right. Well, this is episode one. And they began with an iconic supercut of some of the... Some really amazing moments from the past season. Iconic seasons. moments of the shredding the letters and... Sabrina with her good TV. Yeah, we want the good TV, so let's, let's get it. <laughs> All right. So it is the greatest game show. That is the theme this season. Yeah. The house is wild. It looks it amazing is. on television. I don't know how conducive it is to, <laughs> to living. living. I don't know that I could handle all those lights all day, every day. Lights, colors, um, hard surfaces yeah. everywhere. It I really, see a lot of soft surfaces in there. Mm, it really does look amazing on TV, though. And it looks very sparse, too. It's like a minimalist dream. Yeah, right? I mean, the Big Brother Canada house seems a lot bigger, like, square footage-wise, than think it is. the U.S. house. So they have a lot of space to fill. Yeah. Um, it, That must be a challenge every every season. It looks amazing, though. Mm -hmm. uh, it's 16 house guests, 70 days. Oh, yes! Oh, my God. I love... The 70 day season compared to like the really insanely long, like too long, 90 something days. I feel like days. 70 days is the magic number. Mwah, beautiful. Chef's kiss. Love it. All right. So come on down, Arissa. Yeah, Arissa. It almost seemed like you're on the Price is Right. Right. You're on the Big Brother 10. A lot of fun. And it's just been amazing to watch Arissa mm -hmm. um, just grow so much as a host. And now she's a producer on the show. She was a producer yeah. last year. And I feel like we have someone on the inside who, like, knows what we want. And she makes it happen. She's just a fan of the show. and that, That's what makes it good. That makes a huge difference. It does so. make a huge difference. So, so happy to see Arissa again. So, if let, let me just say, <laughs> we did a cast assessment video. So, if you're interested in our in-depth... Uh, opinions, um, I mean, observations. How long was that video? Like an hour? It was like an hour long. We had a lot to say. <laughs> <laughs> if you're interested in that, uh, check we, out the link below. Exactly. And you can see exactly what's going on with that. Yeah. But we're just going to gloss over it for the purposes of this video. Yeah. They showed clips from every house guest's intro video, mm -hmm. which were the same ones that we saw. Yeah. Those yeah. are the ones <laughs> that they released before the season. Um, well, th this was part of those videos. They didn't show the whole entire right, thing. Right, right. But, um, yeah. All Let's right. Let's talk about the house guests a little bit in their move-in groups. So they, right. they went in four at a time. So first group was Summer. And I just wrote one sentence, not even in some cases. One little each, phrase for each house one, guest. Yeah. So she was hilarious. She said, I'm 25 years delicious. I just can't get over her pettiness. And of I'm fun employed. Trying out for the show because one of her co-workers, <coughs> yeah. sorry, getting over a cough here. One of her co-workers is a big fan of the show. And she wanted them to hate the show by having her on it. <laughs> I love it. All right, so Gino, he's a firefighter. He's also a man of a few words. Does he know many? We'll get there. <laughs> uh, JC Lynn, she was a competitive figure skater before. She seems like the girl next door, She seems outdoorsy. like she's a, a big personality. Yeah. We got uh, Dr. Josh. Josh. Yes, Dr. Josh, the excited, pediatric resident. Excited to have a doctor in the house this season. He seems very likable. Mm -hmm. I can't believe he's got 11 siblings. Oh, my God. He also <laughs> came into the house in a little tuxedo. Yeah, looking very cute. classy. Very cute. Uh, all right, so we find out that they have been sequestered for two weeks. <laughs> they don't That's know nuts. anything. That is nuts. All I'm right. curious, though, like... If for part of that, they still had their phones and stuff, but they I had to, so. like, stay I think quarantined so. for COVID reasons. Actual move-in day was... Saturday. Okay. This past Saturday. Right. So, in real time... They've already been in there for a few days now. Right. So, 
they entered. They made a first oh world God, alliance right it. away. Yeah, what? I we think... saw how great that worked out for the first five many seasons ago. Did not need to see that again. Well, well I don't see this alliance name. lasting. They called it Honey Bunch. I couldn't remember if it was Honeymoon or Honey Bunch. Why would it be Honeymoon? Because it's like they're enjoying it before everyone else comes in. I thought it was Honey Bunch because... It's Honey Something. Leave it in the comments what you guys heard. We were, uh, we couldn't, we were watching it live. So we yeah. couldn't, you know, we couldn't go back. Yeah. So, um, I don't me, know. it's Honey Bunches of... Nope! <laughs> <laughs> I don't like these alliances that people I make... I said it was Honey Moon. <laughs> I know. I don't like these alliances that people make, like, without even knowing each other first. I like, don't have all. a problem with it. I'm not into that. All right. Well, the second group in were Jay, mm-hmm. the theater director slash pole dancer slash awesome. Love um, it. Everything. Yeah. And then uh, Tanisha, the Canada's older mom. Well, not even Canada, just big brother. Yeah, Canadian big brother. The ripe old age of 32. Yeah. <laughs> One year older than me. She's all used up already. Just kidding. She seems like never say that. an awesome person, and her daughter is adorable. I love her daughter. Mm-hmm. Uh, all right, Stephanie. Is this, like, okay for me to say this? Because I feel like if Stephanie was a guy, I would say he was a muscle douche. Is she, like, a muscle douche girl? I don't know. She seems, like, very into working out. Which is fine. I'm weaponizing her body in a sexual way, possibly, to further herself in the game. But if a guy, you know, was to do yeah. that. I think Stephanie is definitely going to be polarizing. I saw, yeah. you know, we saw that Tanisha was saying her sworn enemy in the house is going to be another attractive woman. And to me, I was like, no, don't say that. I think she was joking. I hope. I don't know. I'm pretty sure she was joking. I hope she was joking, but. All right, well. Then we have Kyle. Kyle Moore is also in this group. Do you remember Kyle Moore from last season? (coughs) Yes. Well, this is Kyle Moore from (coughs) this season, who everyone mistook for the other Kyle Moore. On BB Twitter, what's up? (laughs) So now he's finally on the show after a year. I think that's hilarious that he didn't even really, he wasn't into the show at all, and then he was like brought into it by Big Brother Twitter, and now he's on the show crazy that's a lot of fun and he seems like a nice guy i have mixed emotions about kyle but that will develop okay all right so what did you think of summer trying to call arissa on the phone after these uh chuckleheads were unleashed into the house i mean they they gotta know like something's gonna be up with that phone right Mm -hmm. (laughs) yeah because she originally did she go in with jay she into went the secret in, room. yes. Well, I don't remember who she went in with, but there and, was somebody else in there, and she was like trying to talk on the phone. And I'm pretty sure Jay was like, um, "What are you doing? Like, put that phone down, whatever. <laughs> put that down. <laughs> you stop it at once." <laughs> All right. So she, in her extended bio, she had this whole thing about how she was going to have an Afro alliance with uh, Arissa. A romance. A romance, right? Mm-hmm. So she was uh, calling Arissa and saying she was doing her little shtick in there. She was too early to the phone, though. (laughs) We'll get there. All right. So next group, Mm -hmm. Betty. She gave us the hardest spicy V. Spicy V vibe. Maybe she'll be spicy V. Spicy. (laughs) (laughs) You signed up for this. You signed up for ninety days. Spicy V vibes. It's season. It's the season ten one episode. <laughs> what? I don't know. Am I having a? Stroke? I hope not. <laughs> um. But yeah, Betty. She's business B. When she's at work, she's getting it done, and then she's gonna party later. Yolo. <laughs> it just reminded me so much of Spicy V's yeah. intro package. Yeah. All right. Well, and then, I'm not opposed to that. I love no, it. No, it's not a bad thing. Yeah. Then we have Moose. Moose. And Moose was totally giving us uh, American BB Victor vibes. Slash Golden Retriever. (laughs) Yeah. He loves sports. He's a content creator, I guess, for a sports network Mm -hmm. up in Canada. Yeah. 
Uh, then Helena. I really have a soft spot for Helena. I am loving Helena so far. She just seems so real and relatable. Yes. I She's myself a master student. am a clumsy dork. Yes. I'm always constantly tripping over everything. It's it's a joke here. And Helena tripped. And yeah. <laughs> right as she was walking right in. Right in the door. Poor girl. One step in the door. <coughs> oh, Helena fell down. Oh. All right. And then Kevin, the villain. I mean... I feel like Kevin was going really hard into this villain thing. Like, you gotta step back and ease into it. He's talking about how he's gonna be all charismatic, but I think people are gonna see through him very quickly. We finally get a bona fide villain that seems pretty evil. He's like the evil Buster Bluth from Arrested Development. He does Development. remind me of Buster I Bluth. I can't stop thinking of <laughs> Buster Bluth when I see Kevin's face. Yeah. And... All I am thinking is, please don't disappoint us. Don't burn out like a freaking red dwarf star. You know, don't burn out. I don't know. Don't go out in a blaze of glory. Well. Just tone it down a little bit. We yeah. want more villain. Everybody, um, everybody was chowing down on this beautiful spread that Big Brother had placed on the table. I'm surprised because I feel like they haven't had food out that early in the past. Well, at least they weren't making them eat slop right away and not letting or them have their away belongings. Their, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's been awful. Yeah. All right. So they went in. Well, Helena was already breaking glasses. Well, Moose was like, why is everybody standing up and eating? We have a freaking table here. Why don't we sit down like, uh, you know, <coughs> human beings and eat at a table? That, not for the eating at the table part, but the sitting down thing. That's somebody after my own heart because it's like the whole you're at like a sporting event or whatever and everyone's standing and you're like, listen, if, if we everyone all sit sits, down, we can all see. Yes, we can all sit down. Yes. All right. Well, then Arissa took a few moments to pay tribute to the indigenous people's uh land that the show mm -hmm. is being filmed on. the house on. is built on. And I, I just love that they do that. They did that last season, too. And I just think that's such a special moment. Such a sign we of respect. We need more of that. Yes. We need more respect in the world. And we need more healing. I think that's so really, really cool that they did yeah. that again. Love it. And then we segue into the third group going in. Okay. And we got Marty. Is this the third group or the last group? This is the third. This is the last group. <laughs> This is the last This group. is it. All right. So we got Marty. Mm-hmm. He's dad jokes galore. He's got a sexy French accent, and he's the first Acadian on the show. All right. Sorry I didn't mean to do uh, his accent, but I just <laughs> I can't help what that myself. Was. <laughs> I can't help myself because I really enjoy his accent. <coughs> um, sorry for all these coughs. Ugh. She's still sick. Yeah, but my throat just feels, like, weird today. It's all, like, scratchy and, like, blah. Oh. You know, it's fun, right? <laughs> yeah. And then we have Jess, artist and super fan. Her artwork is so Insane. good. Amazing. Yeah. Yeah. It's amazing. All right. Uh, that's the only way I can describe it. Mm -hmm. uh, Herman. Herman. Hermano. Herman. <laughs> <laughs> he is a car sales manager. Did you say he was, like, top four car salesman and, like, Canada I don't know what exactly the, the distinction was, but it sounded like he's a pretty big deal, pretty successful. I love that he bought a brand new car for his mom. That's really cool. Yeah. We'll see what he does in the house. In again, the house. again, ladies, uh, when you see a guy treat his family well, you can expect to be treated well. Mm -hmm. Also, because that's how you uh, gauge, you know. Thank you for the life tip. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> Last but not least. Melina. Uh-huh. Content creator. She was a former tattoo artist. <laughs> artist. <laughs> All these coughs are really throwing I'm me off. sorry. Uh, she's easily annoyed by people coughing. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I am too. <laughs> you no, know, any sound really annoys her. Mm -hmm. All right. So the first 12 into the house kind of hid behind the uh, kitchen, I guess. Yeah. And then they jumped out to surprise the last four in. That's and everybody fun. was like, oh, hi, come on in. Yeah. Let's so have then, a great time. It was time for everyone to get to know each other. Couch circle intros. Oh, my God. And on BBUS, they usually hold the champagne until the couch circle. Mm -hmm. But 
BB Canada, they busted right into that champagne and they were uh, guzzling it down. Get they that were party started, it. yeah. Glug, glug, glug. <laughs> Just some highlights from yeah. this. All right, Gino said, hey, I'm 28. Well, okay, That's everyone it. was, like, going around saying their name, their age, their pronouns, like, mm-hmm. a fun fact about them, and he was just like... <coughs> I'm 28. That's not what he said. I'm 28, <laughs> and, uh, that's it. And, of course, I believe it was Stephanie who was like, I love that. So, like, is there going to be a showmance between those two? That could be. They're both, like, muscly. <laughs> All right, um... Not that. Yeah. So, we find out that Jay is... Uh, they what he would pronouns. like to be referred to as they, them. they, them. Yep. And Jess said that they like they, she. Mm-hmm. But I'm a little confused, and I w- was wondering if you guys could help me out in the comments. They said, or they, she said, uh, they prefer both, but if you could only use one to use they, or something like that. Yeah, we're not totally... Um, we want to get it right. We want to get it right. We want to be respectful. So if you know what Jess is talking about, let us know in the comments. Yeah. Because we want to get it right. I think they, she preferred... Both? Both. Okay. I think. We That's what that. I think. Yeah. All right. So, let us know. <laughs> yeah. You guys are so good in giving us info. We mm-hmm. really appreciate it. Uh, Helena blanked. Because Helena is the clumsy dork. And Lena. she was just like, Never I, change, you're amazing. I am, um, hi. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so the house guests were called to the, what was it, the bedroom or one of the bedrooms? Yeah, or? weren't they in one of the bedrooms? I think so. That one with all the question marks, the red, the red right. walls, I think, I want to say. I don't know. I may have just made that up. They got little tote bags, little reusable tote bags. I love that. So sustainable. Mm-hmm. And they got new clothing, new to them, from the 70s. <gasps> Yay! Do they get to keep the clothes? Because they were super Probably. cute. Oh my god, I love that think... Granny Square vest. Yes. Do you think it was new clothing that looks like 70s clothing? Or do you think it was vintage clothing? I would guess that it was new clothing that looks like 70s clothing. But... I think so too, because a lot of the guys had on these ass-hugging, <laughs> tight-ass pants. And I don't <sighs> think they walked into a thrift store and found... Multiple colors of ass hugging pants in probably uh, not different sizes. Yeah, I don't know about that. Unless but there I was think some guy group from the seventies. Maybe one of the sponsors this season is oh a clothing a company. Clothing, yeah. So yeah. I'm they, sure it was provided by. They them. probably had clothes mm-hmm. that had a seventies vibe. Yeah. All right. So the phone rings. Ah, everyone's getting changed, the and the phone rings. Phone. The phone. I don't even think they were getting changed yet. I, I think they, they were, were just still even, like, looking at the clothes and saying, okay. like, oh, look what That's I fair. got. Yeah. I got so, this. So, this is an homage to season one, because in season one, the phone rang, and Suzette was the first to answer it, and she became the first HOH of the season. Right. So, this is kind of fun that they're bringing it back to that. I believe they're going to be peppering in stuff like that all season. So, Summer was the first to the phone no, not no. summer. That was before. Jay was the first to the phone this time. He was with Summer yeah. when they discovered the phone. I feel like only Jay and Summer knew where the phone was. Mm-hmm. So Jay heard the phone and they knew something was up. So they ran down mm-hmm. and got to the phone first. Yeah, Jay was like... And Jay hey, answered yeah? it. Yes, exactly. And it said... This is Big Brother. You have safety for the week, but you yeah. won't have to compete in the HOH comp. I mean, that's a pretty good deal, right? It's pretty good because you get safety for the week and you can still play in next week's HOH comp. True. Very uh, true. All right. So, so they were pretty excited about that. Well, yeah, they were. Mm-hmm. So um, it's time for the HOH comp. Ooh, I love the way they set this up. Doors of Destiny. Yes. So they broke up this HOH competition into three different mini challenges. Right. That's why Jay had to sit out because they wanted to have five people. They had to have right. They had they had to have an odd number and they have an even number. All right. So it's the three challenges, and the winner of each challenge moves on to the prize round. 
<laughs> one of the prizes, obvi- obviously, obvi. is the, yeah, exactly. <laughs> winner. Is the winner of the, of the HOH, and the other two, well, we'll find out. Yeah. So. The house guests were divided up into these three different mini by challenges. By random draw. Yes. They had to pick the, uh. Out of the bag. Yes. And uh, the first round was the puzzle round. Mm-hmm. And I was like, oh, man, if this is like a six-piece puzzle, like BBUS. I'm <laughs> a gonna... Caitlin Herman yeah. special? I'm just going to stick my head in the toilet. But it wasn't. It was actually very this challenging. This is Big Brother Canada, okay? Yeah. <laughs> so it was pretty challenging. You had to build a shaky-ass puzzle mm-hmm. on a door frame. And the puzzle pieces didn't click together or yeah. stick together it like or they were do like anything foam or something. Yeah, so you really had to balance it. And then I'm you curious. Had to yeah, open the door. If you had to build it like only in the door frame, or if you could have built it on the floor first and then transferred it, I don't see I feel like that why been so much easier. you couldn't have built it on. Well, the floor. Well, maybe they were like, "No, you're not allowed to do that." I don't know. I don't see why they would say that though. I think because it um, takes the fun out of it. I think they just were like, no, this is a time waster to build it on the floor. And nobody really did it. Nor, nobody thought of it. But anyway, we got that round, five people. Right. Gino, Tanisha, Summer, JC Lynn, and Erman. All right. And Erman won. Yeah. So he is moving on to the prize round. Whoa. Everybody else? Sorry. Better look next time. <laughs> Hit the bricks, kids. Yeah. All right, so round two was the game show trivia, true or false? Yeah, and this was all about the house, the house mm-hmm. decor, what everybody's noticed so far. So I mean, they've been there not very long, so I, I who's the most like perceptive? This was a crapshoot for most of the. Uh, I don't know about a crapshoot, but like if you're paying attention when you're walking around, you know. Well, if you get your answer, you have to buzz in. If you get it correct. You are... You knock somebody out of the competition. Right. If and you if get it wrong, you you're You eliminate out. somebody. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Were you silent or silenced? <laughs> All right. So we got Stephanie, Kevin, Marty, Moose, and Betty. Okay. And Betty was out first. She, she, she buzzed in and got it wrong. Then Moose eliminated Kevin, and I'm like, whoa, wait a minute here. They already have a gut feeling on Kevin that they need to get I rid mean, of him. I mean, Kevin likes to say how charismatic he is, but I don't think he's giving off the vibes he thinks he is. Do you think Moose was like, mm, that guy kind of reminds that. me of Buster Blue. <laughs> I don't or, know. Or the villain. I don't know. And then Marty buzzed in and got it wrong. Mm -hmm. And then it came down to Moose and Stephanie, and Moose buzzed in and won round two. Golden Retriever! Victor! (laughs) Yeah. All right. Um, Third round is the old Survivor beanbag toss. Mm -hmm. You have to land three beanbags on a pedestal, but the pedestal is spinning. Oh, my goodness. So that's Helena, clumsy Helena. Kyle, Josh, Melina, and Jess. We got a Helena and a Melina. Helena, Melina. Yeah. I'd love for them to work together. That would be amazing. <laughs> the Enas. Yeah. Josh won round three. Whoa. Yeah, Dr. Josh. It was Good close, too. There were a few people that had two bean bags, and then Josh was the first to get all yeah, three. Yeah, wasn't uh, Melina? No, Jess was on the short list there. She, mm-hmm. she almost, she had two. She almost had the third one. I want to ask you... If you could choose between the three challenges, which one would you want to do? Uh, I would definitely prefer to do the beanbags. Really? Yeah. Okay. I think I would have picked the puzzle myself. I feel like I'm good at puzzles, but I'm also a pretty good, like... Mm -hmm. (laughs) Hand-eye coordination. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So, uh, it's down to Herman, Moose, and Josh. Ooh! And... They have to decide amongst themselves. The whole time, I was like, are they going to leave us on a cliffhanger? Are they? You kept saying, like, there's no way they're going to show us who won the situation. There's no way. Yeah, they, they made it, they though. They did. Well, they got a lot to show tomorrow. You know, Canada is notorious. They are. For the cliffhangers. Yeah. So. But anyway, they decided which doors they were going to stand in front of, and then it was revealed. I think revealed. it was basically the ones that they were in front of. 
Anyway. I think it was Josh, Moose, and then Herman, right? Mm-hmm. I think. No, it was Josh. From left to right. Herman, and then Moose. Oh, I thought Moose was in the middle. No, I don't think so. I don't know. <laughs> so Josh uh, opened his door first, and he found out that he got safety for the week. But wow. Courtesy of an insurance company. <laughs> Yes, sponsors! And then Herman won the HOH. Whoa! And Moose got safety also. Okay. So, Honestly, wow. I thought Big Brother was going to pull some crap and make the two people that didn't win HOH get, like, punishments. A punishment, right off the bat. I thought yeah. that there would be punishments. I think it's kind of nice that they did give them safety because they, mm-hmm. they won their mini challenges, so they should get yeah. some sort of reward for that, right? Well, do you think uh, they're going to do the... Um, you do? Oh, you're so vocal. He says, I have a clown horn down here. <laughs> do you think they're going to do the have-nots right away, or do you think they're going to wait till next week? I don't know. Week? I'm not sure, because, like, I'm so thrown off by last season when they had that ball pit, and then they're like, you know what, we're not going to make people sleep in here, because it's just too much. Yeah. So I'm really curious what's going to happen with have-nots this season. I feel like it's not going to start until next week. You think? Yeah. Yeah, I could see that because they want to wait until and they get through just eviction. And too much. Uh, yeah, too they, much to show on the show tomorrow. Right. Because we have our HOH now. We've got um, Erman as the HOH, and he's going to have to nominate people. They're gonna we've got to do, gotta do a veto. we got to get rid of people. Because somebody's going home tomorrow night. Oh. That sucks. Like, you don't even get to be on the live feeds. Yeah. That's a bummer, right? That is a bummer. Mm-hmm. All right, well... That is the first episode. I'm so curious who Armand's going to go for. We've got three people with safety already, just to recap real quick. Yeah. Josh, Moose, and... <laughs> I'm drawing a blank right now. Herman. No. Jay. Jay. Okay. I feel like... I don't know everyone's names yet. I feel like gut feeling... Herman is going to go after a girl. You think so? Yeah, I think he's going to put two girls up. We'll see what happens. He seems like a guy's guy. I don't know. I don't know either, but it's just a feeling. That Let I've us got. know your predictions in the comments. I believe the live feeds will be starting after tomorrow night's episode, so the first spoiler video should be on Friday. Right. Um, but we'll be back tomorrow with our next episode recap, so... Let us know what you thought of this premiere. I thought it was a strong start to the season. I thought it was great. And I'm really optimistic about this cast, so. I think they look like a lot of fun. Yeah. Let us know your thoughts in the comments. Thank you for watching, and until tomorrow, much much love. love.